welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, yep, you guessed it, it's going to be a collab. I am collabing with Andy. Her channel name is Andy Does Stuff. I will definitely have her channel linked in my description box. This is our third collab. And I just love Andy so much. She is such a good friend to me and she is a marvelous creator. She does such fun stuff on her channel. She unboxes things. She shows you her hauls. She does beautiful eye looks. She shows you her friend mail. I mean, she does everything and anything and I thoroughly enjoy watching her videos. And I know I say this every single time that I collab with Andy and I will every single time we collab in the future, but I am obsessed with her hair. Now my hair, I usually wear it back in a bun or a ponytail because I cannot stand my hair. Plus I am so overdue to have my hair colored. I look like I have witch hair. But what I do when I watch Andy's videos is I pull my little ponytail holder out and I grab a hold of my hair and I say, are you watching this? Are you paying attention? This is exactly what you need to look like. And so far, my hair refuses to uh, follow directions. So Andy and I have a palette in common that we're going to be using today in our looks. And this is the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. This is one of our favorite BH Cosmetics palettes. And she chose the five shades out of this bad boy. I don't think she chose them randomly. I can't remember, but I think these are just shades that she really loves out of this palette. And I really love them too. So the shades that Andy chose are Paprika, Pit, Holy Moly, Extra, and Green Juice. And I love this color story so much. And I love the quality of this palette so much too. I'm so glad that I got this palette. I wasn't really sure about it, which why I don't know, because I love green eyeshadows. They're my favorite. And it is one of the best buys that I've ever purchased so far in my eyeshadow palette buying life. I just love this. And I know that Makeup Revolution has taken over BH Cosmetics and I'm not super nervous about it. I know there are some people that are. And I really hope I really hope that Makeup Revolution keeps this formula because it is incredible. Now, I have swatched the color story here on my arm underneath my sweatshirt here, and this is it. This is the color story that we're going to be creating our looks with, and I think this is gorgeous. I love it. These green shimmers are so nice. This one here, this is called Extra. It's kind of like a green and brown duochrome. It's so beautiful. This one called Holy Moly is kind of a blackish green, greenish black. Uh, and this one here called Pit, it's beautiful. It's like a mahogany brown. And then we have this gorgeous shade called Paprika. And I love it. It's kind of a light brown. Now, Andy did say that if we wanted to pull a sixth shade in, like a lightning shade or a shade to use to blend things out with, we could do that. And I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But if you guys are interested to see the look that I'm going to create with the five shades that Andy chose from the Avocado Toast to BH Cosmetics palette for my collab with beautiful, sexy, va 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 boom Andy from Andy Does Stuff, then you know what we're going to do. We're going to sit down, we're going to relax, and we're going to get started. All right, let's get started with this look for my collab with Andy Does Stuff using the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. Now my eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01, my brows are done, and actually all of my face makeup is on, so that will all be listed in the description box. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here called Paprika, and I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics brush because why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm a creature of habit, and I'm gonna put this down in my transition area, and that's just where we're gonna start, and we're gonna build from there. All right, let's get going here. And I thought what I would do while I'm creating my eye look is give you guys a little life update. And I know I've mentioned in a couple videos that I am having a hysterectomy, oh yes, on the 13th. Today is the 11th. Now, when you see this video, it will be a week after I have had my hysterectomy. And I don't know if I will be filming by then or not. I have a sneaky suspicion that I probably won't be. I think I probably will take a full two weeks off from filming. But I have a few things that I have filmed and I'm going to get them edited so that I will have some content on my channel while I am uh, recovering so that, you know, I can still have a few things going on on my channel. I don't want to leave my channel completely alone for two weeks. I would miss you guys too much. And I think it will be fun while I'm recovering to have my videos come up and then we can chat with each other. You guys will really help me uh, get better, I think. And this shade is gorgeous. It's just so nice. It's just a really nice kind of, I don't know, reddish brown shade. And the formula is amazing and it just blends out so beautifully. And yes, I just love this shade and I love this palette. 
And I'm kind of freaking out about my surgery. I'm going to be honest. I'm not real excited about it. Um, I did have my uh, pre-op appointment on Friday, this past Friday. What was that, the 8th, I guess? And you know, it was fine. But um, I don't know. I just wish that I didn't have to have this done. But at the same time, I'm so tired of living like this that I'm like, can we just do it in the kitchen? You want to come over tonight and we'll do it in the kitchen? I'll, I'll buy you some ice cream. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at at this point in my life. Now I'm going to go into pit and I'm going to put that in my outer V. And this is such a beautiful mahogany brown shade. Can you see that? Can I? Yeah. Okay. You can see that. It's just gorgeous. I love this shade. So I'm going to start just kind of pressing that out in the outer V or into the outer V. Oh my God. It's a good thing I never worked for like Bob Barker on Price is Right. Cause I'd be like, uh, yeah, let's, uh, it's the TV, it's the couch, it's the Davenport, it's the console. I mean, I would be such a wreck. I'd have gotten fired instantly. But I can remember as a kid, like pretending I was a Barker's beauty and like going around the house and like going up to the TV set and being like, well, my mom was watching TV. She'd be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm a Barker beauty. She's like, uh. I know that I need to have the surgery and I'm obviously going to have it. The thing that scares me the most about my surgery, and this is probably gonna sound really dorky, is the being put under, like the anesthesia part of it. I just don't like that at all. And I have had, I think I've had what, five, no, six surgeries total. Uh, and that includes when I was 17, when I had my wisdom teeth taken out. And that was the worst experience I've ever had. And that's why I have this like irrational fear of anesthesia. Because when I got put out to have my wisdom teeth taken out, it literally felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. And then I was asleep. You know, and then when I woke up, I was like, oh, there was an elephant on me. And they're like, no, there wasn't. I mean, I, I knew there wasn't, but that's just exactly what it felt like. So when I've had my back surgeries and when I've had my kidney stones removed, I just keep thinking that that's what's going to happen, that like I'm going to feel like that when I go under. And I haven't ever felt like that again since that time when I had my wisdom teeth taken out. But I'm convinced that that is what's going to happen. Uh, ooh, that is so pretty. I just love how that works. It just deepens the outer corner up so beautifully. And I did want to bring this, I mean, you can tell what I'm doing. I'm bringing this into my transition area a little bit too, just because I kind of wanted that area a little darker. And then I'm going to go back over it, of course, with my Beach Cosmetics Express with just a little bit. Did I say bliss? My Beach Cosmetics Bliss. And I'm going to go over the outside of that just a little bit again, just to make sure it's, uh, you know, blended out. Looks nice. Um, I did tell my surgeon or my doctor, I said, uh, hey, I'm telling you right now, I do not do well with anesthesia. And she's like, oh, we're going to dope you on up with Versed. You won't know what hit you. I'm like, okay, great. So yeah, they know they're aware and they're going to take care of me, which is wonderful. The thing that I don't like either, and I know, I know how this sounds. Okay. I'm a strong, independent woman. I am, but I'm kind of sad and kind of bummed out that my husband can't come in and like sit with me while I'm waiting to go back for surgery. Cause you know, he was with me through my last back surgery and it was really nice to have him like sit in there with me and like hold my hand and kind of like make me laugh and talk about everything that, you know, just kind of distract me from it. And I don't have that. And I'm really bummed that I don't have that, but we'll be fine. Okay. So now I'm going to go into extra. <clears throat> I love the shade and I'm going to put that towards the outer part of my lid. Almost said my outer part of my outer V. No outer part of my lid. Let me grab a brush for that. And I'm going to use this brush here. Um, and it looks purple. It's not as stained. For whatever reason, that EcoTools uh, wash that I have is just not really working very well on purples. I'm kind of disappointed in it, but you know, I'm not going to complain because I've used it a thousand times and it's taken the stain out of the majority of my brushes. So let's just go ahead and lay that down right here. Oh, good. I mean, hello. Hello, green. Hello, duochrome. I don't think you guys can tell, but in my mirror here, it's got like a little bit of a brown flip to it. Not, not tons, but a little bit. And it's just a lovely. And I wanted to take this, you know, quite a ways across the lid because I really like the shade and I wanted to have a beautiful green lid. And I'm going to bring this up into my transition area or my crease or whatever you want to call it because my eyes are hooded and it's going to go up there anyway. So just kind of, you know, bringing it up there just a little bit. Uh, I did have to go in and get three bottles of Ensure, uh, which is like a meal supplement, but I had to get the clear kind. 
because I have to have that the night before my surgery and then the morning of my surgery, which to me, that's kind of a new thing. I don't think I've ever had to do that before. Uh, now I'm going to go into green juice. Mm, I'm going to put that towards the front part with a different brush and uh, let me spray that. So I was kind of like, why do I have to do that? And she said, well, we have done some research about women who have hysterectomies and oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that up here just a little bit too. Uh, she said that they do better, women who have had hysterectomies, um, they do better when they have had a little bit of like nourishment in their body, like the night before and the morning of, because of course I can't eat anything solid after midnight the night before, right? Yeah, that makes sense. The morning of, I don't know. Um, so she said that this Ensure kind of just, uh, gives you a little bit of like nutrition and like hydration so that you don't feel quite so crappy when you come out of recovery, which I'm, that's fine with me. But at first I thought, I'm not going to get that. Like, why would I need to take that? That's ridiculous. So when I went in for my pre-op appointment, I told her that I said, um, I just think I'm going to pass on the insurer. I don't think I need that. And she said, well, if you don't go get that, you can't have your uh, surgery. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I did go and get it. And this is such a beautiful shimmer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm loving how this is looking. It really looks nice. Now, I did kind of take that green up a little high. <laughs> Great. But I can fix that because I'm going to go back over a little bit with this brush and the pit shade. Yeah. I mean, I was like, which shade did I use? So let's go back over that just a little bit with pit just to kind of tone that down just a little bit. Okay. Now... Let's go ahead. I don't know that I'm going to put anything on the brush. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm just going to go around the outer edge here with this brush just to kind of make sure that's nice and diffused and blend it out. And I love this because it's like a grungy, smoky eye, I feel like. Is there such thing? I feel like I've kind of done that here, right? Smoky, grungy eye? Grungy, smoky eye? Yeah. Hmm. I like that. But... I'm going to take Andy's suggestion or Andy's, um, maybe it wasn't a suggestion, but um, her idea of uh, grabbing a sixth shade and going around the outer edge here. And I think I am just going to grab this over easy shade and I'm going to use my Alley Express brush and I'm just going to kind of just lighten that up a little bit. Add some brightness or just, I don't know what I'm adding, but just blending that out a little bit better. Now let's do the lower lash line, and of course, I'm going to start off with the waterline, and I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Catsuit. I've used this, I think, mm, a million and two times on my channel. No, I think I've used it a handful of times, though. But I just thought this would be a nice green shade for the waterline with the eye look. The surgery itself is going to take about an hour to two hours. So I check in at 9 a.m. and then my surgery is supposed to start at 11. But here, uh, surgeries never start when they're supposed to. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Paprika. I'm gonna put that across my entire lower lash line. And she did say that there is a person that's scheduled before me for surgery, but that she doesn't think that their surgery is gonna go very as, like as long as she thought it was or as long as they have her scheduled for, I guess. So she's hoping that they can start mine sooner than that, which that would be fine with me. Um, and then basically, you know, I, they just uh, let you uh, wake up in the recovery room and then they kick you out. Uh, I don't spend the night there. Um, the only way I would spend the night there is if they have to like do a non-laparoscopic procedure where they have to like really like, you know, open me up and go in and take it out. Not to be graphic, but you know, that would be the only reason why I would spend the night in the hospital. And she does not see that happening at all. That happens very rarely. So, uh, and I, I, I believe her, I trust her. And um, so we'll see. But, um, you know, I'm fine with coming home. I would rather come home. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little brush and I'm gonna go into Holy Moly and I'm gonna put that down here and then on the upper lid as well. Uh, and so then I'll just come home. My husband has taken the day off, which is wonderful. And uh, he's gonna take care of me. So that's wonderful, I love him. He's just so sweet to me. He's just, I don't know. He's so loving and kind and caring and just a snuggle bug. And I just love him so much. So I'm really happy that he's able to be home with me because I, I need that. I need him to be home with me. And I took that out a little too far, but I'm going to, I'm going to clean things up a little bit when I go off camera because I do have a little bit of fallout here too. Wow. A lot of fallout. He, see, this is why I struggle with putting my face makeup on first because I'm like, oh, I'm all this stuff I got to clean up. But you know, usually I can do it pretty well and uh, doesn't cause too much uh, 
mayhem and destruction. And I think I want to put a little bit of both the shimmers on the lower lash line. <laughs> I'm going to go into extra first, spray it, of course. And let's put that down right here. Why not? That is gorgeous. I love that shade. <laughs> I think that the extra shade is probably my favorite shimmer in the palette. But uh, all this fallout is getting a little distracting. I don't think that it's the eyeshadow's fault that I have fallout. I think I just packed the brush a little too much when I put that uh, holy moly shade on it. Kind of went a little crazy. Uh, but it's starting to look a little funky. But I'm going to clean that up. I promise. I promise. I'll come back to show you the final look and you'll be like, wow. Yeah, it's cleaned up. I hope. Okay. And then I'm going to go into green juice. And I'm going to put that down towards the front part of the lower lash line. I don't know why I act so goofy, but I just do. It's just how I am. Ooh, that is so pretty. Whoa. I love that. So yeah, I mean, it sounds fun. Like I think, oh, it'll be so nice to just kind of like lay around on the couch and like, you know, watch Netflix or read or uh, who knows what I'm going to do or just be zoned out because <laughs> I'll be like probably in some pain. And uh, they are giving me some narcotic pain medication. Uh, but that's fun for about, I don't know, two and a half hours for me. And then I'm like, okay, I want to get up. I want to do laundry or oh, laundry. Do I want to do laundry? Uh, I want to go for a walk or I don't know, do something somewhat fun and not on the couch. But, um, that's just where I'm going to have to sit for a while is on the couch. And my husband is like, you are not doing anything you're not supposed to do. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done with my eye look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and clean up all this fallouty, blah, and then I'm gonna do my other eye. And then I'll come back and show you how everything came together. So please don't go anywhere. I am back. This is the finished look. I really liked how this look turned out and I love this palette and I love the five shades that Andy chose for us to use for our collab with this palette, the Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. I just love the shades, they're amazing. She chose Paprika, I use that in my transition area. Then Pit, I use that in my outer V into my transition area. Then Extra and Green Juice, these two beautiful green shimmers on the lid. This one's my favorite of the two. I mean, I, I really like this one a lot too, but this one is so gorgeous because it's kind of got that brown to green flip. I mean, you can't really tell on my camera. I know I always say that, but it's just lovely. This shade here, Holy Moly, I use as my liner. And then I did grab the sixth shade. This is Over Easy. I use that to blend out my transition shade. And this is a gorgeous palette, and I don't use this enough. Um, I do use a random generator app in the morning to choose my uh, palettes, and uh, it just hasn't chosen this one yet. But, you know, sometimes I think I just need to grab the bull by the horns and just use a palette that I want to use one morning. So, yes, I think I'm going to be getting this out and using this again soon because I thoroughly enjoyed creating this look. And I cannot wait to see what Andy does with the five shades that she selected. I cannot wait to watch her video. Now, for my inner corner shade, I was going to use a seventh shade from the palette, and I thought that would be cheating. So I did grab this. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade 010 Popping Champagne, and I just like this. I know it's not super exciting. I mean, it's a champagne highlighter shade, but it's got a really nice formula to it. It's very bright and uh, bold, but also kind of soft at the same time. It's kind of a mixture of things. And I just thought this would look really pretty in my inner corner, so I use this. And then for my mascara, I use the Fenty Beauty Mascara in the shade Ivy League. Dion, Dion Less Makeup, that's her channel name. She's one of my other collab partners here. She sent this to me along with the other uh, mascara that I used in my last video. It was called Miss Merlot. This is, like I said, called Ivy League, and it's just this beautiful green mascara. It's like a forest green shade, and this is such a wonderful formula. It really does a good job of like thickening and lengthening your lashes, and you can see the color on my lashes in real life. I don't know that you can see it uh, in this video, but it looks really cool. I really like this. And Dion, thank you so much for sending these uh, fun mascaras to me. I'm loving them. And then for my lips, I use the Queen Nubia Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Lisa. I am a brand ambassador for Queen Nubia Cosmetics, and I will have her website uh, linked in my description box. Please go and check out her products. You will love them. They're very affordable and beautiful. And I love her liquid lipstick. I think better than any liquid lipstick I have tried thus far in my makeup loving life. It's wonderful. 
I really want to say thank you to Andy for doing another collab with me. I hope we do many, many more. She and I have several palettes in common, so I'm really hoping that we can like, you know, keep this uh, collab thing going with each other. I love Andy. She is a dear friend to me. She is like a sister. She has been so supportive and so wonderful to me through this whole menopause, hysterectomy, blah, blah, blah stuff that's been going on. And I so appreciate everything that she's done for me. Uh, the, the laughs that she's given me, the chats that we've had on Instagram. She's just such a wonderful distraction to me through this whole thing. And I really appreciate everything that she's done. And uh, I loved our collab. And I cannot wait to see Andy's video. I'm going to have her channel linked in my description box. And I'm sure I'll have her video linked in my description box as well. If you guys have not subscribed to her channel, go and subscribe and watch her. She is everything you could possibly want in a creator and more. I love her to pieces. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye.